The truth of the matter is everybody lies. Everybody lies. And if you say, oh, I don't lie, you're full of shit. <laughs> Women's lies are like this complex fucking web, <laughs> like a spider web, isn't it? And they explain it, and halfway through it, we're like, I just don't. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Men's lies are very obvious. We're just like, I oh, don't know. <laughs> I know, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but women will hold a lie against you, and when you forgot about it, these bitches. <laughs> no, they'll fuck you up, man. I give you an example. I was married for 10 years. Right? And it was fucking awful. <laughs> no, so, you know, if you have a good marriage right now, good for fucking you. <laughs> I wasn't like that. I've been married for a while, and one night I was on the couch with her, and we were watching a show. I, I can't remember, we were like Grey's Anatomy or something. All I could think of is, like, when am I going to die? <laughs> And I had to lie this particular night, right? My phone rings, I answer, I go, what's up, dude? And he goes, Steve, it's Jim. I go, I know, man. He goes, where the fuck are you? I go, I'm on the couch watching uh, Grey's Anatomy <laughs> with the wife. Why, what's up? He goes, dude, I fucking told you I'm getting married tomorrow and I'm at a titty bar and you're supposed to fucking be here to get the fuck here. So I had to think, quick. I can't tell her that. <laughs> so I had to lie. I said, you know, I had to think on the spot. So I was like, oh, okay. What? The fuck? And she looks at me and she goes, what's wrong? I go, Jim, he's, uh, he's getting married tomorrow and he's having second thoughts. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I go, he's at home crying. I don't know what the fuck he's calling me. She goes, you need to get over there. Speak to him. I was like, yeah, but I'll miss Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> she goes, I'll record it. I bet you will, bitch. So I go, well, I, you know, look how I'm dressed. I'm dressed like a fucking scrubber, man. She goes, dress up. Go over there. Represent. All right. <laughs> so I get dressed up and I go to the titty bar and I have a great fucking time. <laughs> and I show back up to the house at three o'clock in the morning with glitter all over my face. <laughs> and this motherfucker was waiting up for me. <laughs> and I opened the door, she goes, Where the fuck have you been? And I was like, Shit, Hobby Lobby. <laughs> She never said anything. And I was like, man, I got away with this shit. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Fucking wrong. A week later, we were having sex. I've known this girl a long time, man, so I know she was doing it to fuck with me. In the <laughs> you already know. In the middle of the sex, she shoved a finger up my butt. <laughs> it's not funny. She had big fingers. <laughs> I couldn't fart for three days. Sound like this. <laughs> How many ladies, by round of applause, have ever shoved their finger up a dude's butt? She's still clapping. <laughs> Every other woman was confronted by their boyfriend. And they were like, and he was like, shut the fuck up, bitch. You'll be by your goddamn nacho, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you 
You've done it? <laughs> this show is awesome. <laughs> See what happens when we get together? <laughs> Secrets conspire. <laughs> Don't touch his fucking head. Did you, was it him? <laughs> Man, that's fucked up. Cause you know he was like. It was your dark secret, wasn't it? One night she was like, do anything. Right, like, Man, you know what I've always wanted? Always wanted somebody to do. She was like, what? Shove your finger up that way. <laughs> don't tell anybody. <laughs> and she was like, I won't, unless I'm at a comedy club. <laughs> on a Saturday night, and nobody else claps. <laughs> she was like, I've done it, fuck it. <laughs> and he was like, no. 